Alright, it's time now for episode 26 of Video Game Reviews. And this time around, it's Mario Kart 7 for the Nintendo 3DS. And this is actually a, a more recent game. It's uh, from 2011. And this, of course, is the Nintendo 3DS entry to the Mario Kart series. And, and as a lot of you probably know, I absolutely love the Mario Kart series. And... In fact, I've gotten all the gold trophies in this game. At least I think I have. Yeah, I think I've gotten all the golds in this. Now, in this game, you get to, not only you uh, drive your car like you usually do, but you also get to glide. They have gliders in this now, and you've got new power-ups, too. Like, for example, I'll direct your attention right here on the back of the box here to this number 7. That number 7 allows you to hold 7 power-ups at once. However, you can only use them one at a time. Now... Of course, the downside, though, is that if you get hit by lightning at any point, then then whatever items you had left get dropped and you don't get to use them, which uh, kind of sucks. But, uh, oh well, that's the uh, way things go. And, of course, you've got your uh, usual uh, playable characters, like you've got Mario... Luigi and Bowser, they're all in the front of the box there. See, this is a really great game for the Nintendo 3DS. And let's see, yep, 2000, December 1st, 2011 was the release date in Japan. Came to the U.S. just, a, just three days after that. And it's the second 3DS game to sell over 5 million copies. The uh, f first one being Super Mario 3D Land. And of course, you've got your st standard Grand Prix mode and time trial. There's also Balloon Battle. And there's also Coin Runners. That one, I think, is a new mode in this game. And, but here's something you may not know about this. Uh, shortly after this game came out, they discovered that three of the race tracks, which was which were the Woohoo Loop, the Woohoo Island Loop, and the Makawoohoo slash Woohoo Mountain Loop, and GBA Castle One, each had a glitch that let you that let you skip over a significant part of the track. Now that's no, what's known as exploiting a cheat during online. Now, of course, I do not play these games online, so I so that really is not it's not of importance to me. And this uh, game is the second best-selling 3DS game of all time. Uh, the best-selling ones ever what are yes, yeah, so it's the second best-selling 3DS game of all time. Number one being Pokemon X and Y, and I do not own those ones as of yet. And to be honest, I'm not really sure if I want to get those. But uh, I'll think about it, though. I'll think about getting those. But if you like Mario Kart, then this, if you like the Mario Kart series in general, then this is definitely the game for you. It is a lot of fun. And it is very exciting. Trust me, you are going to love this game. And the fact that it's a recent game means that you can probably still find it in stores. There's easily. In fact, I think I actually got this game shortly after I got my 3DS. And it is definitely a lot of fun. All right, well, that will uh, do it for this uh, episode of Video Game Reviews. I thank you very much for watching, and we're actually going to stick with the handheld consoles in the next episode, 
because for that one, we're going to review the Nintendo DS version of Sonic Colors. So please join me for that. 